Hoffman is one of the most influential people in Silicon Valley. He found early success in, as an executive at PayPal, but he's perhaps best known as co-founder of the professional social network LinkedIn. He's now a partner at the venture capital firm Greylock and serves on the board of several big name companies like Microsoft and Airbnb. Hoffman is also a co-developer of the Ethics and Governance of Artificial Intelligence Fund, and that's why he's here today. We welcome Reed Hoffman back to the studio. I love the intro to you, Reed, of Elder Statesman. In Silicon Valley, that's like 29. <laughs> <laughs> maybe 31. Yeah, maybe 31, but you said you prefer the Statesman part. It's great to have you here. It's great to be here. So you're in town for an artificial intelligence conference, and I think there are many differing views about our artificial intelligence. Some people think, great, this is the way of the future. Elon Musk, for instance, has expressed some uh, concerns and reservations about it. Your thoughts? So, all it scares great, a lot of people. Well, all big new technologies both have opportunity and threat. Yeah. And in a sense, that's, those are the, the great ones. I mean, when cars were invented, people were scared of them. That's true. They, they would have someone, they regulated initially, someone had to walk in front of them waving a flag because who know what would happen. <laughs> so, so, so it's always a legitimate, like, oh, what's the downside? What's the concern? And that's real with AI. I mean, Elon's very smart. However, the opportunities are also great. And I think one of the things that's important is to say, okay, we need to navigate this the right way, but we can actually, in fact, I think use AI to create more jobs. I think we can use AI to create, to, to help solve disease. There's a bunch of things that it can be instrumental to, and we need to not lose sight of that. You what say in increase jobs, because the yes. fear is yes. jobs are not gonna be taken by foreign workers, but by computers. We're yes. all gonna be out of a job soon. You're so, saying that's not the case. Well, I think it's like, for example, uh, broadly, all kind of technological transformations create productivity. The intermediate transition is very painful, mm -hmm. right? And so we need to make sure we, 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 we do that. Is that where we are now? Uh, I think we're at the beginning of it. I think it will actually, in fact, get a little bit worse because the whole stack, everything from autonomous vehicles, which will, of course, displace a lot of people who are currently driving, but will hopefully, we can create new opportunities for them. So, for example, if you transform space, cars are what created suburbs. You create new kind of economic centers. It can be construction, it can be retail jobs, it can be a number of other things. And I think that's what you're looking for. And, and with AI, that may actually help us with what are the ways we can extend human capabilities so you can do new jobs. Help me out with self-driving cars here. How, how is that a good idea? <laughs> Oh. I, I, I actually am afraid of that. Me too. I, I have to tell you, <laughs> it's too. hard enough with people driving them, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, I think that if you even took technology today and you said all we had is self-driving cars, you'd have 90% reduction in accidents and fatalities. That's a better state than a worse state. You'd have six to eight times more throughput on current streets. You wouldn't be waiting in congestion. You'd be able to sleep in the back. And drinking and driving, which today is, oh my gosh, that's a horrific, malignant thing to do, you'd be expected to do it. You're, yeah, hey, you're having, a, you're having a beer in the car. That's, of course, that's fine. You're, you're relaxing on your way home. And you won't get a ticket. And you won't get a ticket. We'll do the May I just list. say you're very comforting as an elder statesman. <laughs> <laughs> May I just say that to you? And I know there's more to come on this topic. We thank you very much, Reed Hoffman, for joining us at the table.